bye. Peace out. Have a happy Monday. Today being Monday would normally have been a chest, shoulders, triceps workout for me. Uh, but as I mentioned, uh, the last couple days I've had a sore throat. This morning when I woke up, uh, I was coughing. I felt like I had some congestion in my chest. So I think it's best that I don't work out today. I just don't think I'd be able to push myself that hard. So I started thinking about it and I'm actually going to change up my schedule this week and going forward. What I'm gonna do is take today and tomorrow as continued rest days and then I'm gonna work out Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. So that helps out for several reasons. The first of which is this cold or sore throat, whatever. You know, it gives me two more days to rest up and then I can go right back into my four days a week lifting. The only issue is I wanna to try to get to bed early tonight and tonight is the National College Championship game. It starts at 8 o'clock. I'm kind of hoping it's a blowout one way or the other, so I don't feel the need to want to stay up late. I don't know. We'll see. Either way, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to watch the whole thing. Hope to be in bed by 10. Uh, the second reason for switching up the schedule is this way I'll have two workouts during the week, which I'll do during my lunch hour. And then two, work, two workouts on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, and that gives me a little bit more time because on the weekend I don't have a time constraint. And you know, if I missed a couple exercises during the week, Saturday and Sunday gives me a chance to run as long as I want and get those extra exercises in. So it makes more sense for me to do two lifting days on the weekend. The last reason is, and I don't know that I ever mentioned this before. Um, I currently have a gym membership and some of the exercises that I'd like to do I don't have equipment for that I could find at the gym and doing a Saturday Sunday workout would allow me to get to the gym and do those exercises basically. So your question might be if you have a gym membership why are you working out at home like this? Uh, the first reason really is it's so much easier for me and I have fewer excuses to work out. I have, I have the equipment right here. It's, it's, it's easy to just come down and work out. I don't have to make an excuse that, you know, it's 15 minutes to the gym. I got to pack up my stuff. I think an hour workout would turn into two hours worth of time trying to go to the gym. So the convenience of a home gym is really the number one reason. You might also ask then, why are you paying for a gym membership and you're not using it? I'm actually not paying for a gym membership. And this is gonna kind of be the topic of this vlog. And that is my weight loss history. So in 2004, I lost a lot of weight. I believe it was 92 pounds. Um, I lost the weight I was in really good shape and obviously I put all the weight back on and pretty quickly and it's been almost every year since then that I go on a new weight loss journey. My weight has been going up and down like crazy over the past 12 years. It is really not healthy. For Christmas of 2008, my wife gave me a gift of a gym membership to a local gym. Uh, it's called Workout World. They've got a bunch of locations here in New Jersey. So in January of 2009, I started going to the gym. <clears throat> when going there, I noticed they had a sign posted up about a weight loss contest. It was an eight week weight loss contest. Lose as much weight as you can and the winner of the contest would receive a lifetime membership to the gym. I won that contest. Uh, I actually was able to lose 58 pounds in eight weeks. I don't remember the exact percentage of body weight that was, but that 
was extremely fast weight loss. That's the fastest I've ever lost weight. Um, during, during the contest, part of it was you got to work with a personal trainer. So I had a personal trainer at the gym, I think I met with once or twice a week, who kind of helped, you know, coach me along. We did a lot, a lot of lifting, a um, bunch of different cardio exercises. So, you know, that really helped a lot. So anyway, I won the contest. And I have a lifetime membership to the gym. So that means that I can go to that gym whenever I want. And that is great. And they have a lot of great equipment there. But it still doesn't beat the convenience of having your own equipment in your house and not being able to make any excuses and just come down and work out. I'm going to try to do the best of both worlds. I'm going to try to do two workouts during the week at home. And I'll probably switch it up. Some weekends I will do workouts at home and others I'll go to the gym. I don't know how that gym handles or deals with people vlogging, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to vlog my workouts at that gym. That's another reason for wanting to do it at home. It's just so easy to set up a camera and vlog whatever I want here. Um, so that's gonna be my plan going forward and I sure hope I kick this cold within the next two days. One way or the other, I'm going to work out on Wednesday, though. No, oh, I've told you, dogs don't like chicken. No, they don't like chicken. They do like chicken? I don't think they like chicken. Do dogs like chicken? I don't think they like chicken. Hey, you do like chicken. <laughs>